the, the, the Namibian delegation that is here, led by uh, His Excellency uh, President Angolo Bumba, is here primarily, number one, to attend to the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, which is attended by uh, about 54, 53 African heads of state and government with their delegations. Um, the Namibian embassy uh, then decided to, uh, on the sidelines of this event, organize what we call the Namibia-China High-Level Business Forum, which is aimed at uh, trying to attract Chinese investment and Chinese trade uh, and increase that with uh, Namibia. Now, this, this event was organized by the embassy and you know, at the embassy, we are, of course, represented by the board, which is the Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board, as well as myself from the Ministry of Industrialization and Trade, as well as my colleagues from the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation. We have now decided to organize this forum so that we can highlight some of the features that Namibia offers to uh, the Chinese business community. Uh, obviously, the, the highlight of the business forum was a uh, speech by His Excellency President uh, Nangolo Bumba, where he uh, basically outlined uh, Namibia as uh, a strategic location for investment as well as for trade because of our strategic location in the Southern African region and our efficient port, Wolfie's Bay. Yes. Uh, so that was the forum that we had yesterday, and the forum really... Uh, we, we had also, uh, besides our own ambassador, Ambassador Elia Gayamo, uh, speaking, we also had the Chinese ambassador in Namibia speaking uh, at this forum. Uh, we also had uh, the Chinese business community come in to speak. Uh, President Bumba uh, invited the Chinese to come to Namibia. He also uh, implored upon the Chinese to adhere to Namibian laws and to follow Namibian laws. Namibia regulations when they come and do business in Namibia, as he has been inviting them to come and do business in Namibia. Now, uh, some of the, the, the areas that we are discussing also are in terms of uh, arbitration, mediation on issues of trade. Now, uh, when you do trade, particularly between us and China, uh, we, we at the embassy have been preoccupied also with a lot of trade disputes between our traders, our small traders. Namibians buy a lot of products from the Chinese, and sometimes they are bound to be disputes in terms of maybe payments, maybe in terms of delivery of products, in terms of the quality of the products, maybe the quantity is not enough, maybe the quantity that is put in a container and sent to Namibia is not enough. So there's always been that disputes between the two parties. And because of that, it has been difficult also for the Namibian side to perhaps maybe uh, get the, the payment back from the Chinese side. Uh, maybe uh, there has been some some disagreements. Also, there is a language issue. Uh, so we are now organizing with the Chinese law firms to uh, work together with the Namibian law firms to put up arbitration, mediation centers for trade disputes uh, in country. Uh, we will get you more on that uh, as time comes and as it is being put up. But some of the sectors that we have been promoting uh, for the Chinese to invest in Namibia, obviously, are uh, in the the, the, the the areas where we have uh, the, the natural endowment, such as our natural resources. Obviously, uh, as a resource endowed country, uh, the Chinese looking, of course, for minerals and so on. They are already there, as you know. The biggest Chinese investment in, in Africa is in Namibia, in our uranium sector, by China Nuclear, who uh, currently has stake in Rosin Uranium, as well as uh, China uh, Global uh, Nuclear CGN, that has a stake in HUSAP through Swag of Uranium. So those are the investments that are there, and those two investments by far make Namibia probably now amongst the third or second largest uranium producer in the world, and that's because of the Chinese investment. But the Chinese has been going in also, as you may have heard in the news, uh, in, in the gold mining sector. They recently also acquired the Sumep uh, copper smelter from Dandi, uh, and, and, and they have also been looking at other resources uh, in the country. So China is really uh, seeking to get into 
more mining investment in, in Namibia, but they're also going into the energy sector. And that is now also um, solar renewables, particularly solar and wind, um, as well as green hydrogen. So the green hydrogen prospect also has been put forward with the Chinese. They are very much interested in already. Of course, we have got hyphen, uh, the Germans are uh, in, in, in Namibia doing that, but I think downstream we are looking for other investors to, to get in there and the Chinese are very willing to get into the green hydrogen sector as well. Besides that, uh, obviously the Chinese are already in Africa's infrastructure development in Namibia also, they have been doing roads, they have been doing ports and so on, and uh, there is a big interest also from the Chinese state-owned enterprises to go into uh, more infrastructure projects in Namibia, doing hospitals, doing schools, doing uh, vocational training centers. Uh, this morning, President Xi Jinping uh, explained some of the, 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 the assistance that China is rolling out towards Africa, which includes uh, those elements that I've mentioned, such as roads, rail, uh, hospitals, schools, vocational training, uh, and providing technical assistance to Africa to train its people. Uh, so those are some of the things that we are looking at um, at the high-level business forum, which are concluded yesterday. Obviously, also at the forum, we had the Minister of Agriculture. He spoke about some of the agricultural projects in Namibia and also invited the Chinese to move into these projects. We also had the Executive Director of the Ministry of Mines and Energy, who, of course, extensively spoke about the opportunities in the mining sector and uh, uh, imploring upon the Chinese to, of course, uh, seek partnership with uh, local Namibians to uh, invest in the mining sector um, in, in Namibia. Um, also, on, 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 on the discussion, we have a Deputy Executive Director, Madam Dida Nipondoka Ropiari, who also spoke about uh, the trade, trade policy framework that we have mentioned earlier in the introduction as well as um, the initiatives that the ministry is doing uh, in terms of industrialization in the country. So we are looking, we, 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 are, we are looking at working with the Chinese to uh, look at developing uh, industrial zones in Namibia that will be focused on specific areas uh, that would be uh, uh, servicing uh, the Chinese market with products from the Namibian side. Uh, as, as you perhaps may know, uh, currently, Namibia is the only African country that is allowed to export beef to China. So our meat core is uh, exporting beef to China. Last year, Beef Core, which is another uh, Namibian producer of beef, they are based in Okahanja. They were also given the permission to export beef to China. So now we have got two major abattoirs in Namibia that can export beef to China. They have the permission and need to start. Meat was already started at very limited numbers, but we hope to increase that as the year is coming. Uh, today, the Minister of Agriculture also signed another agreement with the Chinese counterpart that will eventually allow Namibia to also export lamb and goat meat uh, to the Chinese market. These are really just additional opportunities that the government is creating um, for, for Namibian entrepreneurs to, to, to get in and to explore and expand. Now, obviously, we don't have the capacity to um, feed the whole of China, but I think if we can come in at a niche market, niche kind of market position, where we can uh, put our beef uh, as a prime beef and our, our lamb as prime and uh, get good market prices for these products, those were some of the elements that we are discussing at the high-level business forum.